I'll try to demonstrate what the issue is here. So I, I took it apart after calling Hornady. They indicated, you know, give this a try, take a look at this. So I, I, I did take a look, you know, there's no adjustments that can be done under here with the pen. Uh, that, that part's pretty tight, works, seems to work pretty well. Now the upper part of the shaft, there's no bearing or anything holding that. So it, and lower the base down. All right, from here, I'm gonna to try to see if I can get the, uh, this issue, demonstrate what this issue is, so it's easier to, to see rather than just explain. Uh, I'm starting with cases that I've already cleaned and deep primed. They're all of the same head stamp. So there shouldn't be any issues with using uh, this, this once fired brass and this affecting the overall length. So I have a few cases that are in the case feeder, but I'm not gonna use those yet. Uh, just to demonstrate where we are on overall length at this point. Size, flared, that'd be the powder drop if I had any powder in there. A round, it'd be crimped. And now, let me get out the calipers here. So we can see where we're at. And we're at 1.079 and 5 thousandths, so roughly 1.080, and that's what I had it set at uh, from, from last time I, I, I loaded these rounds. So just to make sure it's repeatable, let's do it one more time. Powder drop. Load it in there. All right, let's measure what we got. So, oops, bullet dropped, but exact same reading. We're, we're within a couple uh, ten thousandths, or a few ten thousandths there. So, very, very accurate, and I'd, I'd love to have this kind of accuracy maintained. So now let's do a few with going with all the stations, uh, ha having the casing and, and rounds in it, and let's see what we get, see if it changes. there and let's see what we have let's take this last round out and measure what we have and if you can see that we're at 1.089 so roughly 0 0.01 inches larger than what I set it at and that's the issue that I have if I were to take this, unload the rest of the stations, and take the same round, now with no other rounds in there, and I seat it again, it should give me the exact same measurement that I set at initially. 1.080, oh, 1.079, and then five ten thousandths. So that's exactly what I had set it at before, and it's repeatable when I have one round in there, as soon as I have a round on the other side for the powder drop and the expander and it push, putting uh, pressure on the other side of the shell plate, it causes the overall length to adjust itself and not to where I want it to be. So the only way to compensate for that without a fix is the first few rounds are going to be undersized 
and then the rest will be where I want. Or I have to set it exactly where I want and then run them through multiple times. Run them through once and then for all the ones that are a little bit longer, I have to run them through again to get them to the right length, but one at a time. You know, put a bullet in, put a round in, reseat it again, put a round in, reseat it again, put a round in here, reseat it again. And that would be the only way to compensate for this. Hopefully I've demonstrated this issue enough to where you can understand it and hopefully you have a fix or some suggestions on how to compensate for it. A little better without having to guess. Thanks.